This is Slasher, and I am here at the Dota 2 Championships, the International, and I am here with the Champions Alliance S4, 1.4 plus million dollars in what could be and most likely is the greatest Dota game ever played and one of the greatest esports moments in history. This is a cliche question, but it's going to happen right now. How are you feeling? Um, okay. So when we were winning, like my body uh, was it was hard to move. Like I felt something in my body, and uh, like I couldn't. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to explain. Uh, at the end, we were like, "Are we actually winning this? Are we actually winning this? We're winning this!" Like, get the throne! <laughs> we were yelling so loud. I don't know if you heard. You can hear through it, but. Uh, yeah, I can't explain how good I feel right now. So let's go. Let's start from the beginning here, okay? You make the finals after beating Navi in the winner's bracket. Make it look kind of easy. You've only lost one game the entire week of the international. You've got to feel pretty confident going into the final match. We felt we felt really confident going into this. Um, but like Navi, uh, when they came from lower bracket, I think they got a boost, a big boost. And uh, like that gave them, uh, and and also like they they played us when they played us in the winning bracket final, they learned a bit about us and they changed their bands, and uh, I don't know they pl they played insane like I don't know. After that first game, you won in about 15 minutes. Were you feeling pretty confident after that? Like, oh well, this might be the same as the winners bracket. Yeah, we actually thought like, okay, we're gonna free out this. Um, let's just keep it up. Um, but then, you know, those two games got us down a bit, but we kept fighting. Yeah, so can you explain what happened in Game 2 and Game 3? How were they able to, you know, make such a strong comeback? Actually, uh, we kind of changed. We didn't want to, like, pick the same. We could pick the same, but we don't like going for the same heroes two games in a row. Uh, so we s so we tr we're going to try uh, a strategy we used before, but... Uh, it didn't work against Navi. It works great against other teams, but not Navi. They're they're too aggressive early on. Had you tried that strategy at all in the winners bracket, or is this the first time you're doing this against Navi? Uh, we that Spectre strat we played earlier in the preliminaries, uh, and it worked great. Um, so we thought we thought uh, it would work great again, but <laughs> no, we were wrong. So now they're up two to one. You're in the hole. You've lost more games in the finals than you have the entire week of the international. What were you? What was going through your guys' minds? Were you nervous that this might be it, or you know, how did you pull yourself together? Um, so after game, the second game we lost, uh, we were like, okay, we're gonna, we need to try something. So we went for the night stalker and just went full aggressive early, uh, like they do. So we so we could shut them down early with the night stalker. Just take the early fights, control the game. Um, we just kept calm uh, after our losses. Uh, just talk. We we knew the mistakes and stuff. Uh, so yeah, we just we just kept calm. That's usually how uh, we work things out. And then the same happened in game three, though. And then you're you're down two. Um, what was the strat going into game four? All right, so we knew we were, we knew we were uh, one game from uh, getting eliminated. So uh, like everyone started to like make a little bit more mistakes. You know, you get emotional and stuff. But uh, in the in the end of the day, like we made the the hard decisions. We made the right decisions. To, to like, if you saw the last game, we. Uh, we saw that their um, their team fights was just too good to handle, so we had to split them up, and that was our game plan. It's a risky, risky way to play, but uh, we managed to pull it off. You're actually the man to make that that those plays happen. I mean, what was going through your head when you were trying to stop them from TP and, and try to make that split happen uh, to get you back in the fifth game? Actually, um, I wouldn't be able to make any of those plays without Ake. Ak is great warding. Uh, I think he gave vision of of them teeping, uh, so I just I could pick them, pick the teepees apart, and 
So I don't want to cancel all TPs because if I cancel all TPs, they can just run back uh, together. But if I cancel like three, they can go and kill the rest two TPs back. And uh, in in the last minutes, I knew the Enigma was the big factor for them because he has a BKB black hole, and that would stop our uh, throne throning against them. Yeah, the last play is the game. You coiling to get to the throne. I mean, were you thinking like, we got this, we got this? No, uh, actually, like, uh, like uh, we didn't know we were winning that. Like, uh, the throne was, the throne was naked, but we were still like unsure what was happening, and and when we was <laughs> we were like, uh, yeah, we were winning. So uh, we just yelled, go for the throne. Go, 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 go. Uh. Now, I mean, to me and to a lot of other people, including LD, who we just spoke to, this is the greatest Dota game he's ever casted, ever seen of all time. Do you feel the same way? Yeah, I agree. Like, who else could put up that game other than Navi? Like, they're just amazing right now. Now, to see you have such a run in this tournament and to play the way you did, do you guys believe that you are now the best Dota 2 team in the world? Um, yes, I think so. Um, and uh, I think we will keep improving. We're going to stay as five um, and just uh, keep playing, keep winning. So we like don't give up uh, practicing. We want to go to the next TI4 if it happens and uh, show them we can do two in a row, you know? So this is the biggest event that Valve has ever done for the International comparing to TI1 and TI2. Now that you've seen everything that's happened here, more viewers ever, more people in person ever, more hype than ever, what do you think about the future of Dota as a community and as a game? Oh, I think the future is very bright. Um, just this event, I don't know how many people watch this but uh, uh, I knew the like when I was playing in game I could see like uh, as soon as the game started this there's, there's like uh, a chat on the chat it says like 200,000 people are watching you right now and I'm like what 200,000 and this is just in game like what's happening on the streams and everything uh, but yeah I think I think the it's gonna be a huge Dota, Dota 2. Last question. You now have $1.4 million to split between the five of you. What are you going to do with your money? Um, my dad's birthday, uh, 50th birthday, is uh, a few days after I come home. Uh, so I'm going to use a lot of money on buying something for him. Uh, I'm probably going to save. <laughs> I know it's boring, but um, I, have not, like, I don't know what to use the money on right now. So I'm probably gonna save, um, save it right now. Well, you could always go to Disneyland if you really want to. So I'd like to give you an opportunity to say whatever you'd like to to all your friends, your family, and all the fans that have watched you out this weekend. Be the best Toda team in the world. Oh, thank you, thank you, all fans, uh, everything for believing us. Uh, I know there was a lot of Navi fans out there, but. Uh, I know out there, um, you guys on the internet, uh, I know you're cheering for us. And uh, thanks to my family for supporting me. They've been supporting me for a half a year now. Um, uh, I can't believe, uh, I, I don't think I could have done this uh, without their support. Um, shout out to XMG, Monster, and Razor. Yes. Thank you, S4, and congratulations and being the best Dota team in the world. Thank you, thank you so much. Stay tuned to GameSpot.com slash eSports for all your coverage of the International Three.